check. Checking, making sure the mic works. All right. Uh, hello. Okay. That was weird. Welcome back to Undertale, my lovelies. I'm playing this again because, well, I think the first time I had MatPat's luck when it came to, uh, when it came to the fun values. Um, because, uh, I didn't really experience any of the, uh, the random events that can occur. I've already gone through the, uh, the tutorial section of the ruins, so... Surprise! I've baked a snail pie. Thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I... Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, hello. Hold up. I'm still on hard mode. There we go. Do this properly instead. Which also means I should probably have rerolled my, uh, which probably means I rerolled my fun value as well. So, yeah. Wanted to try doing like in a voice effect or something, but nah. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. <laughs> Why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> a very culmination of your being. Yes, I am very aware of how this works. Hey, buddy, you're acting like you don't know me. I do. Yeah. 
You know what's going on here, don't you? Oh, yes. And you do too. You just wanted to see me suffer. Yes, actually, I like seeing you suffer. Okay. Hello, tutorial mom. Also, now that I know that the term fallen down refers to uh, the state that monsters enter when they're about to die, her saying, I come around here to make sure that uh, to see if anyone has fallen down. I know that this is the tutorial, and I know that it's it's meant to teach you, but I... Try this. <laughs> Such a meaningful conversation. Frog it. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. To be perfectly honest, I, uh, with something like this, a puzzle like this, I would probably just creep around it and just poke it with a stick. Unnecessary tension. Not gonna lie, the first time I played it, the first time I played this, the music really actually made me think something was gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, I think the only thing that would probably have, you know, surprised me is if, like, you know, Froggit appeared or something like that.
Đấy This is Toriel You only wanted to say hello? Well then Hello I hope that suffices Yee Hello? This is Toriel You've not left the room, have you? No, no, I have not. Dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, all right. Unless I already know how to solve them. What if I told you you were living in a simulation? <laughs> Hello. That's good to know. <laughs> Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. What do you think I'm doing? took two. Not that disgusting, am I? Going down. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Wait, do not tell me. Is it butterscotch? Yes. I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your palate? Uh, on your plate? On your palate? Wow. Sorry, I am dyslusic. Hello? You don't have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. I know the reason, I'm just playing along. A little too far, okay. Here I was, all confident, like, oh, I know this. I know this puzzle. Can I spare these monsters right away?
Uh-huh. Want me to just stay there? Yes! It would be a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? Yes! It's also easier when, you know... You don't try and kill people by activating a trap on them. Hello, Blook. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. Today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. You're not an annoyance, Luke. You're not a hassle. You're not trouble. You're a music producer who likes snails. Oh, right! I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Oop, hello. was that? You, you saw that on the corner of the screen, right? Efforts are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Yes, like Undyne.
I'm gonna visit each of these rooms. Hello. Faded ribbon. If you're, if you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. <laughs> okay. Don't pick on him. I'm also trying to gather gold so I can go back to the spider bake sale. should have almost enough for a spider donut and a spider cider. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. I did not have enough money. So, for as fun as the Muffet fight is, I wonder what happens if you have the bake sale stuff in your hand already. Looks, I walker, oh my.
So I am actually wondering... Why exact... I am wondering why some of these monsters I can just spare off, uh, uh spare outright. Because I technically did hard mode before this. So this is technically... You know, my second timeline, I guess. So... So I did hard- uh, I did hard mode right after I did the, uh... uh right after I did a true reset, so... Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Maybe. Found the toy knife. <laughs> Made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Hello. How'd you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I'll heal you. Should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide any longer. Come, small one. Scotch cinnamon pie, which I every time I see that, I'm just like, oh gods, I want that now. <laughs> Actually, my family makes something similar. It's not a pie, it's cookies. It's oatmeal cookies with golden raisins and butterscotch chips, and cinnamon's one of the ingredients, and it is heavenly. Um, <laughs> like, heavenly to the point of possibly be listed by the FDA as a drug. Though we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Well, I mean, I had it before. Yeah, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. Closet perfect for skeletons. Look, these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Storyel's diary. Read the circle passage? Yes. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. An encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. T. 
Antifa, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere plants. <laughs> Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Inside the drawer, flower seeds and some broken crayons. And I just got flashbacks to pretty much most of the drawers at my grandma's house for, like, 15 years. Hello. Oh, it's a water sausage. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of uh, <laughs> of twenty uh, X teen. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I'm going to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. I mean, your name is a pun on tutorial, so... Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. Just wanted to say hi. I'll talk to me again if you need anything. Save. Yeah. Tutorial. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Well, I mean, that's more than nothing. Mrs. Toriel. Hi, Mom. Huh? Did you just call me Mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me Mother? Then call me whatever you like. I want to give her a hug. Actually, pretty much every character in this game, I want to give a hug. Even Sundara playing. And the Reaper Bird. Lemon bread I'd want to share pastry with. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. <laughs> Do 
Here's a random page. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at, at names. Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? <laughs> well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? I guess I have to ask this. I have to do something. Stay here. Hi. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Well, yes and no. I... I want to break the barrier. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. One-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Alright, Tori. I've given you more than enough time to destroy the barrier. Every human that falls down here makes the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. Naive child. You leave the ruins. They, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Well, I did, but nothing happened, so I mean... You're sending me some mixed signals here, Tori. Do not try and stop me. This is your final warning. I mean, it's like you... It's like you're tempting me to do so. Like, seriously. I followed your instructions. I went back to my room. I even slept in my room. Like... Were you just waiting for me to come down here so you can have this talk with me? Like... You want to leave so badly? Well, yes and no. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Couldn't think of any conversation topics. What are you doing?
What are you proving this way? Uh, that you don't actually want to hurt me? that way. This boss music is so good, and it is so... It's so simultaneously happy and sad at the same time. I know you want to go home, but... Please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? Cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. Would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Do you truly wish to leave the ruins? I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. It's only one way, because the door's too heavy, I think. Or is it only one way because of Flowey? Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you're able to play by your own rules. You've spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. Yes, I do, actually. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? Uh, the same thing that I did the last time I met a relentless killer. I see you. You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Yeah, and my soul will refuse to break. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Uh, continue trying? Will you kill out of frustration? No. Or will you give up entirely on this world? Let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. See, the thing is, Flowey, you've already controlled this world's future enough. 
There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Wait a minute, why? It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Bye. Hello again. Human. Don't you know how to create a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Not my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually. I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want it to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! Key man! <laughs> It's like a weird combination of he uh, uh, of like Skeletor and and Doofenshmirtz, and I. <sighs> every time I do that, every time I do this voice, I laugh, and it, it's it's fantastic. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you're not helping you, lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. Get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work today. A skeleton. Sans? Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do such... Uh, do so much just to get some recognition? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, come out now. And yes, I know that I'm playing this game again. This is a game that is meant to be played multiple times. And... I'm getting jokes I didn't get the first time. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does... You'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. Papers, please. There are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. 
He's never seen a human before, and seeing him might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Mm. Real sugar in this soda. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. You send the line back out. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Oh my god, is that a human? Maybe. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is, is that human? Yes. Oh my god, Sans, I finally did it. And I will, I'm gonna not be so popular. Oh my god. Anyone who has seen Wicked, you know the song that's in my head right now. Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then. I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue, only if you dare. <laughs> Well, that went well. Don't no sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Oop, hello. Hello, Snow Drake. Nice to meet you. <laughs> See? Laughs. That was wrong. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. But a great hat. Mine. What happens if I do this? We tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. But it's not weakened enough. Help! Fashion police! Hello, my hat's up here. Yeah, and I don't care about your hat. Continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. Have you considered a top hat? Top hats are classy, you know. 
You observe the well-crafted sentry statue. Who would have built this, you ponder? I bet he was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Absolutely no moving. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Something was moving, for example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. <laughs> you pet doggo. What? I've been pet! Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Someone's been smoking dog treats. You know, you're supposed to eat them, right? Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. You see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. You see a stop sign, stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Makes perfect sense to me. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Thank you. Good luck. Almost went into, like, salad fingers there. Hello, I'm a snowman. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! The hell with a human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see. Blah. This is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, you all will administer a hearty zap. <laughs> Forgot how much this voice dries out my... <laughs> Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Toasty! Sans, what did you do? Uh, I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Okay. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be so easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Yes, and it's a reference to Earthbound, like a lot of things in this game. Which, funny enough, I am aware of Earthbound, slash 
mother. Um, and the only reason why I have not played Earthbound is... <sighs> for one thing, region locking. For two, emulators. Uh, and for three, I had a classmate who was unhealthily obsessed with the Mother franchise. It was kind of scary. So, while I appreciate it, I can't look at Mother stuff without thinking of her and kind of being terrified. Ice physics on this are incredible. Hole in one hundred. Been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? Just five gold. Oh, you don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. You're hilarious. I hope you're ready for... Sets! Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, the Junior Jumbo is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? An easy peasy word scramble? As for baby bones. Unbelievable. Uh, come on, solve this dispute. Humans must be very intelligent. They also find Junior Jumbo so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for saying Junior Jumbo just to appease my brother. Yesterday you got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> hey, sometimes I wonder if I can solve a horoscope. Looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow dodecahedron. It's snow decahedron. No decahedron. <laughs> Dodecahedron is a twelve sided three uh, D shape. And a decahedron is a ten-sided figure. However, this one's made of ice, so it is a snow decahedron. Of course, if you have to explain the joke, then there is no joke!
please enjoy this spaghetti. Little did you know this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. You're only taped again by the great papyrus. Yeah, yeah, papyrus. Her dog appears. <laughs> Barely lifted your hand unless her got, dog got excited. pet the dog. It was a good dog. <laughs> All of the petting. There's no way to stop this madness. <laughs> you call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. <laughs> Far away bark. <laughs> you can reach lesser dog again. <laughs> oh. All of the petting. possible that you may have a problem. What? No! Lesser dog is unpettable, but appreciates the attempt. The, the attempt. <laughs> I want to get it. I want to get the him to go. <laughs> okay. 
I get him to go all the way to the bottom of the screen. Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> it continues. <laughs> Lesser dog has gone where no dog has gone before. <laughs> Lesser dog is beyond your reach. What's that smell? Where is that smell? Your smell. Identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. Dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. What? It smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? You pet dog me. Oh, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. You pet the dogarisa. <laughs> A dog that pets dogs. Amazing. can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Really? Wowie! You resist the flavor of my home-cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me? Right, not human. I, Master Chef Papyrus. Well, I mean, you're definitely better than Undyne. We'll make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle. Arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. 
And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give any uh, give away the answer. Well, then you're not going to be solving it, are you? Damn it. I'm an idiot. you would think I would remember the solution to this puzzle. But no. No. Wow! You solved it! And you did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Actually, I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. Might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> nice hands. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. That sounds like clinical depression. <laughs> I have crippling depression. It's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impossible. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hmm, this looks like Metaton's face. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. But if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Yeah, and probably not burn down his house. The dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. I kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. Fills you with determination. I love how there's one save point that's just Snowden Spaghetti. Now my question is, are Papa Raisins still toxic to dogs, or...?
Damn it. I'm stupid. Bridge go extend. I had a bird on my head. What's up? Say, are you following me? I don't know. Am I? Gift trot <laughs> confronts you. Move a small, confused dog. Hello, Toby. That's a little better. You move. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. Yikes. Remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. <laughs> oh, wait, has been lifted. You have 35 gold because you can't think of an appropriate gift. Oh, you shouldn't have. What a tiny doghouse. Wolf. It's the greater dog. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Ow. Make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you.
Lick. Hee <laughs> hee. Is the doggos. So apparently there's something you can do with the stick. Which is what I have, but... Maybe you have to have it in your inventory and... Press use on it during the battle. I don't know. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Any minute now! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, uh, this challenge, it seems... Maybe, um... Too easy to defeat the human with? Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. That my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Oh, here it goes. Be gone with you. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for the virus. Nobody questioned me. Nobody. Here. 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 I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Yeah, I do. Black. So, I think I'm going to end it there. Um, yeah, we are currently uh, renovating um, the back patio and uh, it is hot as all frick out there um and i was helping my dad this morning and i am exhausted especially also because i didn't get much sleep last night so i will be back in on wednesday i've already gotten things i have not seen before in undertale and i love this game and i want to experience as much of it as possible and no i am not doing a genocide ending because i just don't i don't want to i'm just not I've looked up what the what the different endings do, like what occurs after each ending and whatnot, and it just doesn't just doesn't appeal. Anyways, see you again on Monday, uh, two two thirty, approximately. Um, yeah, see you again. Gonna be doing this more. 
have a great day, and I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.